All right, gang, we are back. Yeah, we're back. With the reset, full series. Yep. Nine ball open. Yep. Here in beautiful Statesville, North Carolina. Miami is about to beat the crap out of Florida State. I can't wait. And it's football. all about the U. I quit paying attention to college football. Then this conversation isn't for you. It's baseball season slash college basketball season. All about the U. You know what? It's all about the U for the next hour and two minutes because then the World Series comes on. Yeah. And, and then everything, everything stops. So everything Miami's going to win and then what? Finish like nine and three? <laughs> nine and three? I think we might go ten and two, dude. Ten and two. There you go. Tim had a pretty good lag there. Really good lag. You know Tim's playing pretty doggone well today. He is playing good, man. I think he was a little upset with how he performed in his first pool series tournament. What's his, you know, as Fargo? I'm about to look it up. It's on our bracket. I can tell you, it looks like it's a. Uh, um, looks like it's a 522. 522? He's solid, yeah. man. Yeah. Nah, he's not a bad player. I mean, definitely. He can win some matches. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so he gets the first break here. He's going to break from a little off center. Don't see too many people break from there and non-ball. Pat's moving around the screen here. Trying to figure out what's right, you know? Sure, yeah. yeah. We are live, I know that. <laughs> That's all that matters, bro. <laughs> yeah. All right, so well, the eight ball, six ball went. Great shot on the one ball in the side pocket. Not a bad break if that four and nine weren't kind of kind of bumbled up there. So it'll be interesting to see what he does with that. Other than that, I mean. I think we're back, Pat. I think we're here. I think we're rolling. <clears throat> Looks like um, our names are wrong on our thing, though. Oh, it reverted back. Okay, yeah, I'll that, fix that. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Technical difficulties. It happens. I think Tim won the first rack just now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that was Tim. That was Tim that won that rack? No, I was saying, like, I had it marked as Tim, but it made me think that I didn't. No worries. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah, a little technical difficulties. It happens. We're still here, though, people. We're still here live. Appreciate y'all watching. The tournament's going pretty good. We're about uh, round. third round. Third round. Third round. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think Tim's up mm -hmm. one nothing here. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. The whole, just the whole thing went bye-bye. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. It happens. You put your patience there with his champs. Yeah. Claim that one on something. I can't think of a good reason, but, you know. <laughs> you guess it's as good as mine. Yeah. So Tim here, uh, probably going to play safe. Yeah, not a bad safe, actually. I think he's going to hop the ball, I think. Uh, maybe not. I think it just snuck out there. Yeah. Snuck out a bit. Yeah, I think he can see this ball here. Be interested to see if he makes it. Kind of a tough shot, though. Like, don't act like it's an easy shot. No, it definitely isn't. But to your point, it is makeable, but he's shooting off the rail. There's a lot of distance. These tables are tight. <clears throat> he <laughs> absolutely flushes it. Yeah, that was a great shot. I mean, something I've been kind of trying to keep an eye on as the night has gone on as well is how the tables change. 
Yeah. Because it was very cold earlier. It was very cold. Um, Party just got better. Oh, oh Brandon Moss is in the house. Oh, somebody yeah. call animal control because yeah. a bear just walked in. Yeah. What's up, big guy? Yeah. Good to see Sorry. you, man. Not the dancing bear, though. Just a bear. So I'm surprised he played safe there. I thought he, he I, th- I kind of thought he would go for that ball. And he leaked out on him as well. Yeah, Brandon Mullis in the house. Yeah. Came to show up to watch this Miami and FSU game that Pat was talking about. Yeah, go Knowles. Let me go for the ACC team. Did you say go Knowles at Miami? Yeah, go Knowles. Oh, nice. Well, there you go. You talk trash about Miami, though, because I bet my fan. He's a Miami fan. Oh, I'm confused on why people care about football right now with baseball season in full effect. And college basketball is about to start, too. So, yeah, I mean. All right, so Tim here, kind of in a tough spot here. Tim's in a very tough spot here. Like, as uh, we kind of got distracted there. It happens. We're doing our best to go Walton yeah. commentary today. Mm. Um, he's going to try two rails. Not going to quite get it. Is this the <clears> game they're worried about. So, David here getting the ball in the hand. Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's fast. I don't see what he can do here. Uh, it's kind of, a, kind of tough, honestly, to get back on the five from here. Does he know he has ball in hand? Okay. He doesn't know that he has ball in hand. Pat eating another one of the uh, world famous fast action hot dogs. They're pretty sporty. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna let you live on the on, the, on another sporty reference because you're right. They are sporty. I like to use, you know, words. <laughs> words are good. Yeah, words are good. No, he's taking. He's playing safe. He's playing safe. Oh. Kind of surprised by that. Very surprised by that. Because if he's going to try to, to your point, getting back to that five is going to be like getting back and getting yeah, but position. Even, even then, though, I would rather difficult. make the four and then play safe on the five. Like, see, like, that's just, I don't, I don't like, I don't even like the thought of that. Mm. Like, I don't know. I just, I'm baffled, so to speak, baffled. I mean, came all this way. Do you want to? I know you want. And not only did I come all this way, I came all this way from Rock Hill because I got. What a shot! So I do love. Him. Hey, what do you think about this place? Though? He actually got perfect position onto the five. Tim Speeds, ladies and gentlemen. He overcut that as well. Tim Speeds, ladies and gentlemen, same guy. <laughs> same guy. Justin, chill out. <laughs> First of all, I want to say Shabbat Shalizon to be Shabazz Mahop. What's up, bro? here? What is good, man? I'm fired up. Man, what a nice room. Goodness, I had no idea it'd be this nice. So wow. when you first walked in, what did you say to yourself? Well, I asked a person outside where the nine foots were, and they told me to keep walking through the main area. <laughs> say thanks. All right, we got a little short on that. But no, it's a beautiful place. Can't wait to try some grub here in a little bit. They got hot dogs right now. Hey now. That's what they got. I love it. I'm all in. beef. I'm in. Still working out the kitchen. It's all right. Oh. All right. So I'm probably... yeah, to answer what Justin said, that's where I was at. Mm. Beautiful room. All right. It's a fire shot there. That was well, well played. That's a replay. David Duell. I know very little about both of these guys, so this is going to be fun to watch. That was a great. Oh, we missed that one. So David Duell is a uh, owner. I knew that. Fast I, know, I know he is part owner mm-hmm. with Clint. Is that yep, correct? That's right. All right. And then Tim Spees, uh first saw him at the Brass Taps. <laughs> I saw, him on, I saw him on camera. I didn't yeah. watch much of the match, but oh, that was shot. a great shot. Great shot. He nailed that one. He hit that one. Man, that should be the game. Stop, stop. 
No, it wasn't straight, but it was good enough. That was a great out. We're learning very quickly that uh, Tim's got a great game. Yeah. He's very composed. Well played. And right now he's up 2 nothing in the first set. Okay. That's where we are. How's your day going? Tell me about Pat Dix at the corner here. I, uh, I do know what happened in your first match. Yeah. But I don't know how it happened. Um, Frico's just better. That's how that happens. For now. For now. He's better for now. He's better for now. For a long time from now. Uh, <laughs> and then the second match, I played Jerry Hilton. And honestly, he gave that up more than I wanted. So you did get the W. I got the W. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, and then I played uh, Jay Sizzle. Our boy, Justin Clark. Oh, that guy? Yeah. And uh, too well. Yeah. I took him to the hill in the second set, though. He three on me the first set. I took him to the hill the second set. I had a chance. It's all right. But uh, tight tables, he's much better than I am. Well, yeah, but, I mean, this, these are short races. That doesn't matter as much right? as we saw in the very first match of the day. Even though Brian Caps is a warrior. I didn't know if you had ever seen him before. I've never seen him I have before. A few times. He's a great player. Yeah. He's a great player, no doubt. But today makes me want to take a year off and not play. Like just oh, practice. That's, not sense. that's what it makes me want to do. Yeah. It really does. You'll miss it too much. How do you hit this one? Off the The problem is, is I don't have a table at home to practice on for a year. You know? Yeah, but you have one in Men Hill that all you have to do is text and show up, and it's pretty much unless I'm sleeping or working. My guy. You know that already. Oh, wow. It was a well-struck ball. It was, but it, it's okay. I smell a kick safe. Not only do I smell a kick safe, that thing might kick in the side pocket. Very possible. And it uh, looks like Hank Powell and Jacob Blake are wrapping up their match over here. I don't know what happened, but they went to the hill. Wow. Well, if Hank's the blue score, he won. You know, Tim just needs to make one shot here and stick it. That was a tough one to hold. Did he get a roll? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, it can go in, but it's a very touchy shot when you're jacked up. There's Hank Powell. What's up, man? How are you? Hank won. I was going to say, with that reaction, I felt like he did. Too happy, Hank. <laughs> it's going to leave a shot here for Tim. With a way to get out as well. So we are in the, to the third round of the A side, correct? This is third round A side. Nice. Uh -oh, uh -oh, that might hurt. That might He's hurt. always going to get into the six, but he got enough of that outside on it to be able to see the four. He could, He can see it. Floated. Even though I hate floating balls, that's what you have to do to hold here. Ideally, bring the cue ball back to the spot. Good shot. It's going to work. Just needs to hold this two rails. Decent stroke. Yep. No, he's he's doing great. I'm telling you, man. He's got game. That seven goes on the side. Yeah, I'll, I think so. Oh yeah, he can make it go on the side. Natural shape. That was a. I like this a lot better. I was going to say the, the with the angle of the seven to the side. I'd like trying to make it all the way down. It's just I don't want a chance. The I'd rather take it into a more accepting pocket, being in the corner for sure. That's what happens, though. Yeah. And he left a shot. He only needs a good position for the eight. Well, well. All my, all my other guys here. What is going on? Did I see you and Mike Davis matching up a minute ago? Did you win? <laughs> <laughs> he gave me ball and hand with like six balls on the table. Nice ball hand. Those are the ones that are. Stop it. Oh, jeez. All right. 
Yeah. This isn't that hard to hold. The nine, though, that nine gets in the play. He's going to be treetop here. But, he, but all he has to do is make it. It's going to roll for natural position. But he's going to he's gonna have to put a little bit on it, though, because he's going to be. Oh, he's not as treetop as I thought. Yeah. Was. He just needs to spin it with a little bit. Of, that was a lot. But he's going to get love. I'm going to get it. Well struck, he got the game. David Duell gets on the board. I love these short sets. Just when we think Tim's about to win it 3-0. David has a chance to make it 2-2. It's been a great day so far here at Fast Action Billiards in Statesville. I can't get over how nice this room is. Anybody in the area watching need to get down here and play. Have a good night out. Enjoy the enjoy the people. Enjoy the venue. Alternate break. Rack your own. Two's got to go in the back. Nine ball does not count on the break. Although, if it did, Rico would be in the final freaking four. This dude gets so many golden breaks, it's crazy. I actually turned in briefly for him and Jacob Blake where he did it. He had like, four, like three of them on me. I had to spot it. And if he didn't get it, it was like floating in the pocket, man. Oh. All right. See, Brandon Mullis would play a safe behind the seven and two here. And your brother. All right, man. Good shoot. And that's exactly what he did. And he played a gray ball. Don't go oh, in. Oh, boy. Was, well, it wouldn't have been horrible if it went in. He just would have played another safe. Takes a little exhale as well. I wasn't sold until I hit the rail. They got some good shooters up here in the Statesville area. Who who do we have out in the chat now? What is it? Got it over there right in front of you, boss. Oh, Justin Edwards is here. Like usual. I love that about him. If he's not here, he's still here. Oh, look at this shot. Oh, good hit, man. And he can see the two. I want to let you. I want Tim to reach Spee across the table. Tim, Tim Spee's giving a, showing a hand clap with his cue. I love that. I'll let you know that was a good shot. That was a great shot. I mean, I'm gonna do that to you next look, time. You should do that. Too. I'm gonna get them to say, "Hey, I'm gonna do that good. to Corey in our nine six match coming up, just like that." He's got to make a shot first, though. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. He does get the break, so at least one time. Locked up. <laughs> wow, that was a big one. You could see a lot more of that two ball than I thought. And it's going to... Trying to fair, you know, he can make it. That took a weird, real, a, a real weird last couple of rolls right there. Like, it was kind of wobbling on the way to that five. Here's the problem. On the way to hitting the two and making it, it's going to clip to five, and it might send it behind the nine. Oh, no, he had enough of it. I was afraid of what we just saw. It was going to straighten up the cue ball, and it's going to head right behind the two for a scratch. You know, but he hit it perfect. This is a good shot under the circumstances. A little far. Tim Spees, man. He hits him good. It's a pretty fearless player, I'm seeing. All right. Now, this is a golden opportunity to tie this match up. How was that hot dog? Piece oh, sizzle. Crushed it. Okay, yeah. cool. That'd be the fourth one. Did you say the fourth one? Yeah, I had two earlier today. It was the other another two polished off? Polished. Those are potato chips you hear. The most in the way in the world. All right, back to pull. There could be a worse side to have on these hot dogs versus a Lay's classic oh. potato chips. Salt. And more salt, and then after that, add a little more salt. All right, we got a little bit of nerves going on here, which is understandable. I mean, you win this match, you're in the money. It's a hundred percent or so. Yeah, there's a little bit of extra on it. Now I want to see if he plays this forward with inside, and just rips it. Yeah, like that. I actually played it with some outside. You've got to thin this ball on the 
on your left, Pat, at his left now that he's in the camera. You've got to thin this and try to bring the cue ball back behind the eight. I mean, that's ideal in a perfect world. So you like it being I like thinning it here? Yes, and two okay. rails. Which so back up. I mean, you got to, I mean, this is razor thin, so he went more fat into the ball. Which that's not a horrible one because. He's basically challenging David here. He is, but all he has to do is make it. He's going to get natural. It's way different when all somebody has to do is make it. Me. Well, he didn't get that natural. He hit that with power. Hit it kind of fat. You can tell the way that the seven ball went into the top right-hand corner pocket, but he's giving himself a shot. See, I would have probably, mm. I would have probably played that seven in this or that eight in the side and played the seven slowly up table. So you're saying playing the eight into the left side pocket? Yes, on the left side pocket. Yeah. But so you would have rolled the cue ball out there the seven because all you have to do is make it. I mean, you don't have to like lag roll it, but I mean, you don't have to power through it either. Right. See, like right now, you don't like it, but ideally, if you can make this ball, the nine's dead. So I hate jacking up off the cushion. Dude. Unless, but. Dude. Unless some great shop, and now he's on the rail again. But if you're feeling good, you're shooting straight. That's what you do. Of course, I never miss a shot from back here either. A little straight. It's always going to be difficult with that distance and shooting off the rail here. David wastes no time calling the top right-hand corner pocket. Oh, boy, he's going to overcut it. Where's things going to settle at? Oh, it's going to settle right in Tim's favor here. That's not that dead of a shot. He might be playing that in the corner. Unless I'm just totally crazy here with my angle. Yeah, that's I knew that was tight. For his sake, it should go in. No, he's going to spot it. Now, even though it's Tim made it. the nine ball, it is not his shot. Okay. Also, if it were a terrible leave, David couldn't give the shot back. Like if somehow, some way he fluked the nine ball in and the cue ball and ended up all the way down to the bottom of the table on a rail, he can't he can't give it back. It's just the next play so shot. Early. Wow, what a shot. What a shot there. Way to tie it up. D Dizzle. Time things up here. And I'm not here. sitting here acting like I can necessarily do everything better, but one thing I will you say. You are, but okay. Am I? No. Am no. I rude about it? <laughs> no, here's the good news. I don't care. Because here's one thing I know is true. You got it to the good players or the great players. You don't see them shoot hard nines. Right. You play the position to get to the easy nine. Right. That's a great point. And I mean, as good of a shot as that was on the eight, it didn't benefit him to send it forward to the end rail. Right. That makes sense. But. And what we saw in that nine ball right there was my concern on the seven that he ended up missing of yeah. the table. All right. But either way, you know, I've had my fair share of dunce mistakes. So anyway, it's zero, zero here. One game. Everything's open, Pat. It is. He's just going to need to miss this nine. I believe he can come back around. He's going to need to miss the Probably six as well. Between the six and eight. Uh, okay. Okay, brush. It's going to need to get up the table. The four uh, is out of the way of the three. Put the three to go to the top left-hand corner pocket. So he's probably going to play that two rails. He got a great position, but he missed the ball. But he might have got some love. He got some love there, bud. He's calling the nine. Uh, the I corner. see what he's doing here. Thinking a little bit of a cross bank, the two into the nine, or what's going into the nine for him to call it? That's the only thing that I see here. Cross bank the two. Into, I mean, yeah, because I don't see how you get the cue ball over there for the nine. Right. Unless you draw into it. Nah, it's going to be the two into the nine. That's a great shot. I, I mean, like Tim, uh, uh, David's going to be able to see it, but that's a great shot. I tell you, you know, what, I would call that nine in the corner. If he could get, if he could get dead behind, oh, he did. This, at the, 
Combo's dead. He did. Oh, he called it. I hope he makes it just because this is a great shot. This is real fire. Oh. All right. Tim with an open table. He can take advantage. He can get this first set. I mean, honestly, just getting on the three is the most important thing. Perfect, it's going to work. It's going to work. Good news is the four balls right next door. So just maintain an angle, which you will be able to nicely to be able to draw back down the table for the five. Well, you really punched That's that. Brave boy. That was brave. Hell I'll yeah. give him credit. I can tell he's one of those players that plays off the field system and they can be dangerous at times. That's for sure. Now, he definitely hit this one. I don't know if light is the word. Stop shot six nine. Yep. So he wasn't perfectly straight. So he hit that ball great, actually. I don't blame him for trying, and you got some. A little bit of love. I'm kick safe and yeah. Cue ball almost where it is now and six ball up the table. That's a great shot. That's perfect, man. Tell you what, that was great control. Great control. That's why I commented like I did when he uh, when he shot the four. He, I would have wanted to have been a lot closer to that five. Yeah. So I could get straight on to the six nine. Straighter, you know? Sometimes your stroke thinks faster than your mind does. Trust me, I've been a victim of that plenty of times. <laughs> to where you think you're thinking about it all the way, but you still just execute it. All right, so David with a chance to snag, steal this first set. That's exactly what it would be. It would be a theft. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, this is just, yeah, it's there for you, bud. You know, my question is, is he trying to play two rails to the eight? Because I would just honestly play no rails. I would right. get up there and play my draw stroke towards the side pocket. All right. Well, this is so, interesting. Okay, so this is going to be two rail position unless I play it with a ton of inside. Which that is a no. He's going two rails. I think. Yeah, you're right. But this was always the problem with that. I don't know why. And that's why when you had ball in hand on the six, you roll the cue ball further exactly. so you can get an angle to draw toward. Exactly. Exactly. Going for the bank here. Okay. He's going for a safe. And I think he got there. He definitely got there. It's a good shot. Oh, and he froze the eight ball. Made it even harder. Tim might be looking to go down and back. Oh, he's going to go get shorty. I, I think he should. Because what's going to happen is if he kicks that one rail and he hits the and he runs into the eight, let's say he hits it flush, it's going to catch the point. Mm. Just got to shoot it in the way where you want to hit the eight ball flush, not really trying to make it because then the ball's going to come off the table. Listen. Like that. Oh. Like that. That was the concern. Compared to the one real kick? Well, compared to the one real kick, yes, but more so just jumping. If you're going to decide to jump at that eight ball, I think you try to jump and just touch it on the right to keep the balls on the table. Yeah. Anything to the left of center, that that's going to be a problem, keeping the cue ball on the table. I don't fault his aggressiveness, though. No, absolutely. To try to win it. All right, well struck. That should be David's first set. Somebody call the cops because there's been a robbery. All right, Justin Clark. <laughs> okay. 
Now, now you can yeah, okay. say it calm completely. Before I call the cops. David Duell takes the first set. I mean, two. when you can hex BJ Usher in the missing ball in hand, you truly are the KOD. Dude, I watched I watched both matches, by the way. I watched BJ oh, Usher yeah, versus Mike. Talk to me. What do we got? And uh, Renal and your boy. Hank. Renal and Hank. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The six ball? The six ball. Nuts. You just don't see that. No. I mean, that was it. That was that was the nuts right there. This is going to sound like a really jerkish statement to say. You know what? I'm not going to say it. I'm going to say it can happen to anybody. Miami's up 7 nothing. Sorry, man. For Corey Shimtov out there, your boys are up. Let's go, baby. Our boys. Are you, are you a you? Yeah. It's all about the you. But all about the you. Always has been, always will be. I hope Duke beats y'all so bad. It'll be fantastic. Duke? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, in football? No, not going to happen. Basketball? You're taking the world over. Oh, yeah. Look at that nine on the break, five right behind it. It's going to have to spot it. And uh, spotting a one nine. I don't think it's. I don't think it's going to be. Lit. Well, he might just take a look at this. Well, I mean, I, I would I shoot it aggressively and get a leave. That's what I would do personally. I mean, you got a bunch of blockers. And honestly, with the angle of this right now, I would shoot the nine because the one almost flies directly into the top left hand as well. So you got a bit of a two's not far past. Uh, not. Uh, two is nearby. Mm. He had a little bit of elbow in that. All right, this is where Tim just needs to relax. I know he's uh, not happy about how the first set ended, but still plenty of pull left. New set. Still plenty of pull left. Tim's going to give David an opening here. Oh, that's and, a great save. Yeah, it was. That's a great save, dude. Even Kirk over here just gave it up to him. I heard a solid, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Heard of that one through the headphones. Oh, it's going to be ball in hand. He grazed that two ball as well. Well, he's going to have to figure out an... Uh, a 6-8 is going to be an issue right now. Right now, this one's an issue. Does the one not go by the four? No. You can see it. I don't think. If it does, it's it's tight. I mean, it really, really is. I mean, if it honestly went, I feel like he would have shot it a long time ago. Right. He's lining it up as if it does. I've been wrong plenty of times, but. I was gonna say, That's I what I was you, actually I looking at to start with. Yeah. It it does. You just you got to hit it great. You got to not brush the four. You got to make sure you don't land behind the seven. Of course, getting straight on this thing wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But you are right about the six eight bat. That's a problem. That's that's, that's, that's good. That's table. good. Just just accept the angle here. We're just trying to get perfect. Perfect was going to be 8 out of 10 difficulty. Tim with another opportunity a here. Great opportunity. Because, I mean, I've already conjured up that I'm going to play a safe on the 6. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, a, he's going to get weird. There's a lot of outside on that. See, this is where I'd bank the three up the table, and I would try to stick that 
cube probably by the eight. It doesn't go behind it, but he might be able to get it behind the nine. I don't know. He thinned it. Okay, so he uh, alleviated the issue of the six and the eight, and right. uh, didn't leave didn't leave uh, David with much to work with except for maybe another save here. Yeah, that cue ball, I feel like, should go behind the eight and the nine and leave the three over by the six. Oh, he went eight. the other way with it. Watch out, cue ball. Ah, that's a great shot right there, bud. That's a great shot. If Buddy Taylor is watching, yeah, I got that one wrong. Whatever. Good Justin hit. saying the ball curved. Got a little action going on up in here, Haas. Of Haas Formula One. I'm just kidding. Sure, somebody will play you. There's a lot of shooters in here. Yeah. Oh, good shot. Thank you. Way to here. hold that. Wow. Hey, move that six a little bit. Yep, it was on the rail about right there. Do we we have replay. All right, they figured it out. Yeah. Technically, Tim had the right to put it where he felt felt fit, but he was a he was a gentleman about it. All right, gotta let the stroke out here. It's a great draw. Okay. Yeah. Well, it was controlled. Yeah. Now he didn't land straight, did he? I don't think he's, he's got, got a little bit of angle. He's going to have to thump to... this, though. Yeah, he is. I don't know. He doesn't have to thump it at He's going to catch the tip. Man. Or excuse me. Let me be po politically correct here. The point. I thought you. I thought that was your uh, opening to be even less politically correct. I try. I fell at it so miserably. It's unbelievable. I tell people what they want to hear for about 30 seconds, then I go back to being me again. <laughs> All right, good shot. If it slows down, slow down. If it's him. Okay, that's going to work. Let's slow down just enough a little. I mean, if you want to be aggressive and go with some inside right here, be my uh, guest. I'm playing safe back. I'm playing the right side of the eight. Oh, what a miscue. You could, you could see him scoot that in and a that, stroke. Well, that's... Another point I was going to make, I wasn't sure if that was clean or not, but they're going to play with that way. Did he make it? Yes, he did. Wow. Oh. I don't think he meant to. I don't think he meant to either. I think he was definitely playing safe. He's, he's going for this one. That's a great shot because if he misses, he might get a good might get a good leave out of it. But you don't think about it. Just make it. Oh, we got the double kiss. Yeah, he's probably going to surrender this game. This is no gimme. No. You have to mind your P's and Q's here. I do favor David to make this. Oh, I agree. Justin, chill out. What is he saying? The ball curved again? Oh. Yeah, but he's he, he's missing great. <laughs> Where Tim is, Tim is leaving uh, a way easier shots for him. It's calling the corner. Be careful of this corner pocket. Careful of this corner pocket. Oh, right boy. Roll. Right roll. Boy, this is a dilemma. I think you got to shoot at this, man. You just... One real kick? One real kick this thing. What a mirror system this is. That's effectively what he's doing. It's almost like you imagine the nine ball on the left, like you create another table in your mind on the left. 
of this table to figure out where that nine ball is. We're using this yeah, cue to do it. I guess the nine is frozen because I was I would be I'd be trying a way to bring the cue ball back, or excuse me, bring the nine ball back to the side rail like that, like that. That's yeah. a great shot. My nice brain, my brain can't do that. Your brain, my brain and my body can't do that. My right, brain there. wants to shoot. Yeah, I get it's it. like up. Oh, nothing else you can do here, bud. Good shot. All right, short. All right, enough's enough. Bear down and make it. Just don't stun. Accept, bump. accept your gifts and pull and go with them. Nice. Just a half tip below. Oh, 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 oh. oh. That's good. He called it. All There's right. no baby, but that was a rattle. All right. <laughs> that's almost the greatest one ever. <laughs> He's no Tim baby, Spies. but that's a rattle. Tim Spees gets gifted. He gets gifted one. I still don't know if it's as good as call me three strikes because I'm out. <laughs> that still might be your goat saying is one of your goat sayings of all time. Well, I was in rare form that day. You were smoking it that day. And hey, we've got the uh Yankees and the Dodges. Yankees Dodge. How do you up? top game one? I mean, a walk off grand slam. Where do you go from here? Dude. Like that's that's what's supposed to happen when it's an elimination game, right? Game seven, like, walk off grand slam. I that's mean, when games you two through, and I told Justin I see the Dodgers in six. So I'm assuming at least six or seven games. Like what? I'm with, they're I'm, all going to be absolute duds from here on out because of that. I'm not a baseball guy, but I want the Dodgers to win just because of Otani. Oh, sure. Like hey. the mystique around him and how he's the like arguably like right right now the best baseball player of all time. Bro, right now. He I want him to get a chip. And if you haven't player. seen this movie, you should called The Scout. He is the Steve Nebraska. Mm, no. It's Brendan Fraser when he was much younger. Mm. The guy could hit any any pitch possible and he would throw like one of nine. <laughs> My God. I'm saying it's a great movie. That's what Shohei Otani reminds me of. Scout. Yes. Oh. Steve Nebraska. That's Steve the Nebraska. guy's name in the movie. All right. He could push out, but All he right. said forget Back that. to pull. He's, he's jumping. Wow. Is that rain above our head? Yeah. At least I've shut the windows this time. That might hurt. Well, All right. Tim's getting frustrated right now. Is where he just needs to step back, <laughs> take a breath. You've got the first game of the second set. He's still feeling the... Uh, the frustration, I believe, of, be, of losing that first set, you know, of just it being taken away. You're up 2 nothing. You lose three racks in a row. I mean, I get the frustration side of that, and I'm not going to act like it's the easiest thing to shake off, right. but if you want to play winning pool, you've got to learn to shake them off quick and keep going. That's just me, though. Oh, this one was hit very hard. Yeah. And he's... Oh, he's off the rail here. He's on the rail, but he just needs to just make it. Just hit it straight. I tell you what, he's catching these jaws. I think both these players are amped up right now, and they're trying to do a little too much. Mm -hmm. What do I know? Watch out, five. Oh, he's going to hit it fat. That's okay. good. Go back to the shooting smooth, man. That's it. Even the, even in that first set, when you were losing in those those three racks, you were still shooting smooth. Maybe you didn't get a couple of rolls. Maybe you made a couple of mistakes, but the stroke didn't change. You know what I wish I could do? If I went uh, next time I play a tournament, wear a VR mask and just have my garage as my setting. Oh, how great would that be? Well, I would never lose a tournament because I never lose the practice set in my garage. And that's what you need to go to sometimes. Go to that. Just forget about your environment. Just play the game. Easier said than done. Well, right now that's what he's doing because he actually hit that where he needed to put it. You should be able to float this ball a over bit, to a the end. A little bit of left to kill it. That's oh, what he, he did. But it. He put a, yeah, he punched it hard. He's out of line here again. Yeah, you're out of line right here. Um, I mean, honestly, from here. Top left. I would snatch this with center draw and bring it back to um, the table. Yeah. I would. That's just me. I like that. 
All right, you can't really you can't really play top because number one, getting positions next to impossible. Number two, you got the pocket down there. Number three, you can put a better stroke on this ball. Lease is it. That's a good shot there, bud. But look at the nine. But now he has to bank the nine, where if he had drawn it to the side rail, he would have had a much better shot on the nine. I thought he was going to shoot eight balls to the top left-hand corner. Yeah. And with that angle top left, I feel like he would have caught maybe the second diamond on the right long rail to get up and get position. So you're saying he would have shot the eight in the... He rope, he rope that one if he doesn't scratch. Wow. Tim freaking Spees. So he had, he had what, like eight ball, eight ball here. Okay. So he key ball here. Key ball there, eight ball there. Nine ball sitting exactly. up there, right? I'm shooting the eight where the nine is. You're shooting eight here. It, okay. The, the eight ball was a little bit further up. That's real close to the side. Yeah. Right. Eight where, ball is probably like right here. Yes. Okay. I am ripping this thing in that corner, drawing off where the chalk is and bringing it back here. Eight ball wasn't this far back because the side pocket was in play. Either way, I'm still roping this thing. You're coming by the chalk here with it. Yep. All because right, here. You out here, Rico? All right, bro. I see you, man. I see you, bro. Because here, you can simply shoot the nine in the corner, which, listen, he drilled an incredible bank, but it was a low percentage shot. Yeah. Okay. That doesn't change that. Right. <laughs> but I'm going to give him credit for making it, especially under his circumstances. See, I'm thinking he goes eight in here, mm -hmm. this cue ball with top left is going to bank and then just catch and then come back around you, this way. You can do that in a perfect world, but. The reality is a cue ball is going to get a lot closer to that corner pocket than that. Oh, to up here? Yes. So it's probably going to get like... I mean, it's going to get yeah. close. And That's a great question. That's a fantastic question. All right. I wish I knew. Who broke the very first set? Do you remember? He broke the first set, so you broke the second set. Wait, you won the lag? Then he. Then you broke first. Broke first. First set. He broke oh, okay. He broke. Okay, so he broke first the second set. Oh, it is. And he wins and he breaks and he wins. It should be. You break his ring. Yeah. It's his break. Yeah. I'm gonna let the players deal with it. <laughs> Somebody roll on the footage. And that lets me know that we are a lot louder than we think we are. Are we? Yeah. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Hey, we have a job to do, and yeah. this is to report the news on this pool table. That's our gig, bro. GD it. <laughs> All right. David was in the same exact position first set, so see if he can climb out of it again. All right, one ball down. Oh, no, it didn't. It went in. It stayed up. I'm sorry. It's down here on the bottom rail. Mm -hmm. I've totally missed it. All right. This is interesting. I mean, he's been because one thing I've learned is that my game is way more conservative than a lot of players. You think so? A little bit, yeah. Because I'm thinking safe here completely. Not gonna get there, but it's not like you got he some, might, a great look. He at might the back this table. up behind the eight. Oh no, he played it forward. That that was why I thought about kicking the one ball down by that corner pocket and leaving the cue ball behind the eight, so you can get ball in hand and get to the one and two easier. Oh, that would have been funny? that would have been prison. How does that ball you find know, that side pocket? You know, Tim could, honest to goodness, think about a three foul here if he can figure out how to get that two from 
away from that four. Right on. Ooh, my one's only lost the hit. Oh, he nailed it. Oh, he nailed it. If he gets two, he should absolutely go for it. Now, keep in mind, folks, we are playing three fouls. The three foul rule is in effect. What did Justin Edwards just put on this feed? Dude, take that off, please. <laughs> oh, he uh, definitely He's probably that. referencing what I said. All right, that's his two. Let's see if Tim tries to finish him. I got a feeling that if he's going to do it, that cue ball is going behind the. I don't think that cue ball is going behind the four. I don't think he's going to try to do it. Oh, he's got to try because he's got him dead to rights. I'll tell you this: if, if this does, was APA and I could call a timeout, I would do it right now. If he does try try to do it, then that really tells us something about Tim Tim's uh, mind for the game. Oh, he just moved the seven. Bonnie. Bonnie. I, I'm just kidding. You've got a dead three foul, though. You can just win the game. Oh, and he missed ball in hand, dude. Did he hook him? No. I okay. mean, yeah, kind of, but you can, but get, he can get a good hit. Wow. All right, some players don't like playing that. But I'm saying that cue ball would have been right behind the four, and that two would have been on the same rail as the seven or the side rail. Right. To the rail with a little bit of inside here. Oh, that's game. Unless he didn't play it. Yeah, you, you gotta you gotta tell him. I don't think he's aware of the three foul because it's supposed oh, to be my game. God. Yeah, you're right. I'm not my yep. Hey, that's on that's on them. We're not in that. To everybody watching under the circumstances, that's supposed to be the end of the game, but he didn't let him know he was on two. So he doesn't get the three foul. Wow. Now, going to be a talking point for sure if this match somehow doesn't go Tim's way. I'm not going to be the one to mention it to him. I don't know him, but somebody should. I'm going to tell him. <clears throat> Excuse me, everybody. Do you mind? We're trying, to, we're trying to have a broadcast here. Oh, I broadcasted that call right over the airways. What would you think? All right, is Tim going to play safe? Let's See, that is mind-blowing. Okay, he didn't get the safe, but he tried, which that is a little bit mind-blowing. He's playing this many saves, mm -hmm. but he didn't. And let, I honestly think that he didn't know the rule was there. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't. I just don't think he's, well, to your point, to your point, maybe if he knew, let, let's assume he doesn't know the 3,000 effect, if he knew that there was a three foul, that he actually shoots defense on that two ball, like you were saying. Well, he Versus, has, and he had a great defense to do it with. But hey, we're past that. It's done. It's over because he's going to scratch right here. Oh no, he didn't. You don't know nothing. Uh, you're right. I mean nothing. <laughs> it sure looked like he was going to. No, I think any other table. Well, I can't even say any other table in here because as tight as these tables are, they probably all I, hold up. I was going to say, I did notice these pockets do look cut a little small. They are not big. They are not buckets by any means. And I'm looking at every table and seeing that, so I like that. This uh, table right here over my back left. Good hit. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That one's going to find the drink. The table right here over my shoulder, table six, that mm -hmm. one's got four and a quarter in. I was four and an eighth. At that one. Four and an eighth. The one that Mike's on right now? Yeah, mm -hmm. four and an eighth. That's tight. Speaking of tight. That eight ball just being in the middle of the table, that's going to be the one to get on here. I'm not calling it a problem, but if there's work to be You're done, it's probably it seven to the eight. guarantee from here, that's for sure. Exactly. Now, you should just be able to spin this with some right. It was heavy. Very much so. But there we go. That way, look out.
boy. Oh, man, Tim's chance to. I mean, he missed this great. Well, this is this is definitely a safe behind the nine. Yeah. Play with middle right. Give it a short. But maybe he left it on the end rail. We'll see what he did. He did not. All right. This is so far. This is a repeat image of the first set. Not closing it out. Giving David a chance. David is really overshooting right now. Oh, what a blessed roll. Yeah, but I wouldn't just hate to say that, but I wouldn't get and he's jacking up. Wow. All right. Good shot. All right. This deja vu moment from the first set brought to you by the hey. Roundabout Grill. We've got breakfast and lunch specials for you all day. I'm going to try to say breakfast correctly this time. How'd you say it before? Breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> Maybe we got breakfast and lunch. I'd just say food. <laughs> Shout out to, we're going to go back to those guys. Shout out to Furniture Outlet and yes. Consignment, consistent uh, supporters of the pool series and what we're doing out here. We appreciate you guys. Uh, shout out to us one good time, Detro Media, bring you the action live. You want to challenge somebody, huh? Maybe you got a pool tournament yourself that you want to put on? Reach out to us. I'm looking forward to the challenge matches again when they come back. Me too, dude. All right, Justin Edwards is going ham in this chat. Let's go, baby. Justin, what are you doing tonight, bro? You at the house chilling with the kids? Come to Statesville. Bring them. Show them what playing pool's like. Challenge me, I challenge you, guy. Someone's got to make it right. Let me uh, let me practice for like six months before we uh, do this. Whoa. Undercut that one a bit. That was always going to be tough. Good opening. Yep, he did. That was a good shot to get on the two. We're off our phone, just watching stuff. All right. Come on, Tim. You know, I pull for Hill Hill. Oh, always Hill Hill. And yes, your daughter did win a solid $2 off of me. I've not forgotten about that. Pat Dixon, I challenge you to. He said, I brought the kid when she won $2 off me. He brought a... He brought uh, his daughter up there to Irish Cube. Okay. On top, yeah. Good stuff. 
Good shot. Strong. How's it going to finish up behind that eight? Not too good. We can see it. Got to watch outside. Whoa. Mm. All right. If it lines up, Tim's in good shape. He can make it work. Believe it or not, this is three rail position for the eight. Put a good one on it. Let's see if he maneuvers that. Oh, he's playing it soft. That's a that's a good okay. shot. Maybe that's why I'm losing so many matches. I'm too aggressive. I thought you just said you were kind of conservative. I am. You just yeah, but I still know how to I still know how to shoot out. Oh, okay. Kinda. All right, Tim, for a chance to take the second set. All right, good deal. They're going to the hill, folks. Flip a coin or lag him. He might. He's getting some balls out. They're going to lag. I like it. We're real pool players. All right. And Tim is going to win the lag. You know what I really like about this place? There's space. You got great space between yeah. the tables. Yeah, like, for sure. You don't really have to worry about standing over somebody or walking behind them when they're shooting as much. So, no, I see our fearless leaders in a match. Who's he playing over there? I'm not sure. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. Nine balls moving. Yeah, it did. Found its way all the way down here to the bottom of the table, but. He hit him solid not to make anything. I'll give him that one. Everything just migrated down here. Yeah, a bit of a stretch. Don't be afraid to get that bridge, bud. Uh, that's what it's there for. It's a good shot off that bridge. He'll be able to pull it back the way he did. Yeah, he'll be able to pull it natural for the three. I wouldn't feather it. Catches the he point. Was, he was aiming for the position, not for the pocket. All right, Tim with good position there. Now, ideally, we should want to play the four in the same pocket. Top right, right here. Well, he was just a little bit all right. I see he's rolling that, and he's going. Okay, it's not bad actually, because he no. he's actually dead on for the four all the way down. It can hold for the five here. He's got to draw. He's got to stun it back just like an inch and a half, nothing more. Oh, okay. A little light on that. If he was trying to get it to the other side, 
to be able to take the five into the top left hand corner. I mean, he should be all right. He should be able to just kind of draw be, this to the long rail. I, I, ooh. Yeah. I like that. That's a great shot. He's going to run into the nine now after he makes it. Now, I think with this angle, if he runs into the nine, the nine is just going to help that cue ball kind of straighten out to get back assuming up there towards the seven. A, assuming he doesn't have a bunch of distance. Like that. that worked. It's a great angle, actually. Just make shots. Oh, wow. They're just going to meet up like a tender pick. That, uh, We're, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to give, uh, Tim Spees about a 97% chance of getting out. Make that 98. Make that 99. And there's your under. Tim Speeds draws first blood in the final set. Good talking out there. Yeah. Big time. Bing, bang, boom. Very much so. All right. Justin, great college bartender for another bottle of water. This is a nice He's on the stream table, for God's sake. Somebody get the man a drink. And now, <laughs> all right, another good break. David, the break, and he's going to leave Tim a pretty solid run. This is it's one of these you salivate over in an APA match. You see points right now. Uh, I see Tim. Great, great stroke there. And I was going to say, just coming off, you know, he didn't sit for too long after making those three balls. No. You know what I mean? See, now he's he's gotten over the first set. That's out of his mind. And now he's just shooting the pool and making practice shots. Just yes. draw this one straight back. Uh -huh. it, it's simple. There's Mr. Clark. Here's the man of the hour. And not Justin, I might add. Although he's the, Clint, the, the, the Clark that we actually like and is <laughs> claimed to know. Clint Clark, everybody. Oh, we might have. Uh, we might be all right. I think he might be okay here. If he can hold for that five in the same corner, that'll uh, that'll be big time. Yeah, that was a tough shot. That was okay. so that was so hard to hold that. He decided to push forward versus drawing back on that three ball. All right, and he might have saved himself. He did save himself, dude. He's going to be kicking this. and Oh, mm. hello. All right, all right. What did he get? He got an opportunity to play safe right behind the eight. Cue ball behind the eight. I'm yeah. Bad. yeah. Five is going to go in between the eight and the seven up table. That's good enough. Yeah. He didn't freeze it, but that's good enough. It'll work for now. I like the fact he got the seven off the rail a little bit. That's going to help him for the future. What do you like here, Pat? I'm jumping. Tell me how you're jumping. Yeah, I'm jumping. I just want to make good contact with the five. I'm actually going to jump in, in a way not to make it, but to lead the cue ball towards the left long rail. He went three freaking rails and got a good hit. I mean, yeah, he's going to just leave a duck. But I was going to say, he's hit. Hit. yeah, it was a great hit under the circumstances. It's still better than ball in hand. Right. Even though that's pretty similar to ball in hand right there. Right. Good stroke. That's a great stroke. There's the shot you should have played on the three. So this is, you honestly stun this forward. Don't roll it because if you roll it, it could go behind the eight. Stun this forward about an inch at the most. Almost like a stop shot. 
and he got a he got some love there, man. Yeah, that's part of the game. You know, if anybody would know the answer to this question, it would be you. Does he serve coffee? I don't know. You of all people, you know, the what most I... coffee connoisseur I've ever met. Because I, got... I appreciate that about you. Um. Didn't ask Clint if he had coffee. I didn't ask because I got a mug in the car right now, still hot. Still hot this, in the thermos. This guy can be in the middle of anywhere and still have a thermos of coffee. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's not a bad question, though. I would love That's a cup of coffee. Black for me, please. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. It's like Time. it's like she knew. Is that Lynn? Dude, this Lynn place is chance? bugged. All right, where, what's Justin Edwards saying now? Anything he ain't special? Saying nothing. He ain't saying nothing. He's laughing. No, this is um, this is an hour ago. Oh, that is not her. Okay, hey, Justin, how many Justins are we gonna? Yeah. Justin Edwards, Justin Jones, Justin Robinson, Justin Jackson, they're thank everywhere. You, thank you, Justin Dale. They do have coffee, and we're about to find out just how good or ain't it is. Good shot. Very good shot. If he could get some action off that, okay. Now, this one right here, I like a little bit of, uh, Remember like a center of above. Easy like, a, nine? like a tip, right. Right. I like a tip above center here. Yeah. Two rails. Just diving tables. He played it. He played his position was fantastic, but he just, just didn't drop. shot considering that's a very hard thing to do man put that cue ball right there with, with with a deep ball in the pocket so that right there and i've said this before if that were believe it or not if that were the table over there it would have fallen mm -hmm. if that were the bronze it would have fallen mm -hmm. but because these diamonds have a different cut all right one to one wouldn't have it any other way. It's awesome. So the next event that we have is going to be a week from today. We're going to be at Smoke and Q. Mm. We're playing... Nine? We're playing Nine Ball at the Q. So that's going to be November the 2nd, maybe. Don't quote me on that. Whatever that Saturday is a week, a week from today. Uh, we'll be at Smoke and Q. And then the event after that, folks, at the end of the month, is this one the eight ball open? Oh, Blue, Blue Rocks. Rocks. Yeah, I need to request a work in Pineville that day. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Which I'm usually between Pineville and Rock Hill anyway. That's pretty much where I work. That's your territory. Yeah, it's my neck of the woods. I have to say, I really like your neck of the woods. Yeah, <laughs> and, and your residents that live there. Good folks. Great folks. They they want hot tubs. Yes, they do. <laughs> but they want they want the coos. All right. Uno e uno. Speaking of hot tubs, let's see what uh pockets these balls find. Let's go. You know what? That break actually worked way better. He took some off that time. He made the wing ball. Did he scratch. Oh no, he got hooked. That hook by the knot. I'll jump it. That knot. Get your jump cues ready. He's got it. Good. Please keep your arms in. Okay. What was that? Was that me? That's my no, that was me. That was my captain. That's my captain. Who's who's watching the What are you looking for, Pat? I heard it. It's like a reverb echo, like somebody's watching it on their phone. Oh. Seven ball. Seven ball. You oh. Line. You're fine, though. You're fine. I thought something was wrong with I think Tim I like, caromed off of every ball on the table there. The whole table moved when Tim jumped. Mm. Feels like it. I see the Yanks and the Dodges. Zero, zero still.
see if I can quickly pull up the uh the bracket here in a moment. Current bracket for here. Yeah. I have a prediction. What's that? That Mike Davis will tear clean through the losers bracket. Ooh. All right, he's a little off there. Yeah, he got into that nine ball really, really thick. Right. He just kind of pushed everything through the top half of that table. So we're looking at a seven ball, seven ball half table drill here. Tell you what, from the one to the two is not very user friendly. Unless he has more room behind that three than I think, but I don't think he does. Nothing's wrong with your guys' screens. I was just adjusting something for yeah, everybody realize <laughs> what's, what's coming up here. I'm gonna get us a nice good look at this bracket as uh looks like Chris Clark is coming over to table seven. Coming to steal the show. Let's go for this combo here. Just gonna have to make sure that this one. Alrighty then. He's gonna get he's gonna get he's apologizing for the safe. I wonder what he was really thinking of doing there, because he really he really smacked that one hey. to make the seven. So what was he hoping for? What what kind of was he hoping for a carom to open up? Into the, two, the three, maybe? maybe. I mean tell you the truth, I'm not quite sure. I mean, that's a good guess though. I mean, as far as what you said. Oh, oh I right. just found the drink. How's this going to shape up? Oh, I was going to say if it, one came off the rail, you should consider shooting it, but not now. Now you got to play position. Draw it out. You draw here. You got the seven sitting, so the two, two seven combos there. That's fine. Could be, is he tree topped a little bit? Just a little bit. He's, he's, right. he's going to go in two into the note and try to play. Ooh, that's a three ball. He got the three. I didn't think it went past. Oh. Hey, so. No problem. Thank you. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot, baby. I could let it sit for a second. So I'm gonna burn. I should. You know, I maybe should have got some cream, but that's okay. Oh, wait, what's up with you? You used to drink your coffee, Wesley Snipes. Now you're going Patrick Mahomes on us. How's that work? Oh, I usually do Patrick Mahomes. Do you? I usually do, yeah. If we, if, we go, if we go Wesley Snipes, either the coffee is so bad it doesn't matter. <laughs> Jeez. You know what I mean? Or it's it's so good, which is rare. That I don't really? need a little something. Yeah. I usually like my coffee with just a little bit of sweet cream. I don't really like adding sugar, but just a little bit of sweet yeah. cream, I'm good to go. I've actually got a taste for the black coffee. Mm. That's a good shot right there. Yeah, it was. Told it well. This match is going down to the wire. Wouldn't have it any other way, man. Pool series. That's what we do. Like I said, the winner's guaranteed in the money. How much is up to them? This so was he's playing interesting. And it did you, not work. You can see where he pointed his cue. He was yeah. trying to get behind the four, but that they both just kind of rolled forward. I guess I missed something there. I would have gone for that shot and played the four in the opposite corner. Mm -hmm. That's just me, though. All right. So he is. Well, if he can see the four, that's great and all, but he made the six and eight very difficult. And the four has to come all the way down here, I think. 
I was going to say, I, I don't fire. think you, well, we'll find out in a second. Can you shoot that in the, it's like a break, he played a safe to break it out. These guys are just kind of, it's like it's a heavyweight bout. They're in the 11th round. They're both gassed and they're just slugging mm -hmm. at each other right now. Sometimes they're connecting, sometimes they're missing. That's right. That's a good shot. Is he going to get behind him? He's got distance. He's going. He's going. Oh, that's perfect, dude. All right. I'm smashing that left side rail. I'm sending that four flying. Got to make sure you don't hit the back side of it because you'll end up scratching. Is there a world where he can see the edge of that four? I think if he can see it's no, so no, no, he's, he's kicking. He needs a kick with some pace. And you really need to send that four ball flying and hopefully he'll leave the cue ball back there on the end rail. Because he needs to hit it really firm and fat. He needs to connect the rail about that's right about that's, here. Yep. And he needs to put some pace on it. All right, he must have I barely missed it too. I mean, it wasn't a, it wasn't an easy one. I'm not gonna say the guy didn't you know it was definitely a difficult shot but it's a great safety play by dave yeah no it worked he could uh he can get on the hill here it's his break it's big time oh boy Oh boy, as soon as it left, you as soon it. as that cue ball made contact with the six, mm -hmm. yeah. It just, they, these, you, you just can't slide down the rails mm -hmm. on these diamonds, no. at, especially at that pace. He's in not get very friendly position here. These guys are feeling the pressure right now for sure. That's perfect. Thank you. Oh, no, I don't. I don't. Sorry, everybody, giving them my, all my info for... You can give us last four of the social for a soft I, credit pool for the coffee. I'm fine with that. That is going to work. Wow, that's, that's a very too. smart shot. I would have made the eight and scratched. You sure that's how it would have happened? Yeah. I uh, can make people work harder than that, Pat. I got some work to do, bud. Do you? I got some work to do. Well, it's all about the work. That's what it's all about. The work is worth it when you get there. I'm not saying I'm there. I'm saying I've gone further in this game than I ever thought than I ever thought I would, and the work was worth it. That's where I'm, that's where I'm going. All right. Any other table in America except for these ones in here? Watch out for this cue ball ended up on that end rail. Oh, wow, you were right about that temperature of that coffee. Good night. Yeah. They brewed it through the pipes of hell. Oh, fire. <laughs> yes, they did. Dude, you have an absolute all-star stud behind you. That was a good hit. I got to look and see who it is. I knew it was out of here. I knew it was out of here when you said it. Oh, boy. Cruel and unusual punishment right there. When you think you're about to get the game and then the last second it falls in. David Duell goes up 2-1. Big time, and it's his break. It's his break. And, Brandon, it has, yes, sir. It, 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 it has to be said. David is stealing this match. It should be over. You know, because you said that, I'm taking Tim Spees right here. Taking Tim Spees? I'm taking Tim Spees. I hope I didn't KOD him just now. So is Javier Olu going to... Oh, he's not listening. Okay. okay. All right. 
All um, right. You know what? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get vertical. You've been sitting too long there, pal. Yeah, these old legs here. I heard that. Thank you, brother man. All right. So we have a very, very ugly five six, but it's but you could break it out. Oh, that might go. Okay. Oh, that was some serious touch. All right. Try to draw in between the ten or the nine and the seven. That is his best shot of the match, and he's got himself set up for a good breakout. He just has to hold it. Oh no, it goes in the other side. What that's do I know? Shot. Guess that's what happens when you sit in a chair at the bottom right hand part of the corner. He's playing free right now. Yeah, but. You got to play focused at the same time because now you got a very hard six ball. It's one of those ones, man. I think, I think now's the time to rely on what's kept you in it so far, which is your great defensive. Play. Sure. I, I would, you know, especially when you got three blockers right there. Excuse me. I can't say that his aggressiveness at times has helped him. So I wouldn't say be aggressive here, but his defense has held him this entire match. No, not when your opponent's on the hill. That's a great shot, and that's exactly what he was doing. He can see it. That's fine. It still isn't easy. I'll tell you what, David's actually very good at that shot. That's probably the fifth or sixth time I've seen him play it. You're 100% right. Now, I do believe there's also a window here between the 7 and 9 for the 6 to go. He's got natural position here. Oh, boy. Just oh, cut it. He's going to get a good little bounce off that rail to make it difficult for David. Yeah, there's nothing easy about this. Good move. Shot. Very yeah. good move. See, now I'm playing the right side. That's six, and I'm bringing the cue ball down here where he's standing. But you have to hit it razor thin. Right. And he's, he's tree top a little bit over. That might man. be difficult if he's getting the bridge. I would almost play it too. Oh, he's, probably, he's getting the cue with an extension not already in it. That's also carbon fiber. Versus the wood shot that he's been playing with this whole time. This is very interesting. This, uh, I agree. No, he double hit it. Oh, we all scratched it, dude. Boy, that was. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. If Somebody got their if, rosary if, beads if out because this that, man's blessed. He, yes, he is. <laughs> rosary beads. Um, if he goes on to win this match, he should go back and remember that ball didn't scratch. Because <laughs> that was really close. And he caught the point, but he might have caught it well. I think he caught it well here, B. I think, I think so, too. What a shot. So he could see it. All right, do what got you here. Make your, make your shots. And this is still winner's side, so the loser of this is still in it, but... Winner gets money. Yeah. Guaranteed fifth six. Oh, what a shot. No, 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 oh, no. Kick like a mule. Do not jump this. He's jumping it, bro. There's no way he's not jumping this. Good luck to you, sir. I'll be the first to admit that I'm wrong if he drills this, just to be fair. I want him to drill it so we can go hill hill. Well, same here. I just want to drill it because it'd be a great shot.
Yeah, he got close. Oh. That's what I was worried about. That is what I was worried about. Wow. That's why I like the kick. It's easier to protect. But I'm not out there. I'm not going to state what should go through through their heads. That's up to them. Meanwhile, Chris Clark is playing against Houdini over here. They're on their hill set. Chris is on the hill in the third set. Nice. All right, David Duell for the match. He got it. That's David a great Duel. match by these David two. David Duell is the winner. That was. That was hard fought. These guys are asking each other's names because they'll never forget this match ever. I never forget. <laughs> Plus, it's on camera, so none of us will ever forget it. Good shoot, man. Uh, it's tough break. Tough break, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's a good sport. I like that. Uh, great guy, David. There. Right, take a quick. We'll take a restroom quick break. Little, quick yeah, walk around. Off. I'm gonna go down shake here some, to uh, kiss some hands and shake some babies. Yeah, let's do That's that. How we roll. I'm gonna go man, figure out down here by uh, from Justin what we got going on. Uh, so you guys stay tuned. Pretty sure we're gonna have another match coming right on up here as we get into the probably gonna be the final four. Final four winner side is uh, the match that we'll have next. Um. Oh. Oh, we were done before done with what forever no oh no you can take a break if you want to you're good let me show you guys where the bracket is sitting right now Let's see if i can get this mm. All right, this is where we are. So, it's going to be Brian Caps versus David Duell next because Tim Spees just lost to David Duell. Played super well. Tim, you got to be proud of that, man. And then Javier is going to be playing Hank Powell. I'm taking a look behind me here to see if they're playing right now. I don't think they are because Javier's just kind of walking around. Hank's having a seat. So Javier, Hank, so these, these two blokes over here, this is your winner side final four, it looks like, buds. Javier OU, Hank Powell, Brian Caps, and David Duell. And then on the loser side, oh, buddy. It's been nice knowing you, Tim. <laughs> Tim is headed over to play Mike Davis. And uh, it's got to be said that he wins. If he wins that, dude, that's the upset of the century. Mike Davis versus Tim Spees. And then Chris Clark versus Steve McDaniels is happening right now, as a matter of fact. We also have Justin and Kirk playing, uh, playing right now. So the loser side of the bracket still going on pretty heavily. James Landis versus Clint Clark is going on to our left right now on table seven. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll figure out which one's coming up next, whether it's going to be Brian and David or Javier and Hank.
Hey, Kyle Fuller Winter Club. Kyle Fuller Winter Club, yeah.